A debate is brewing over the cost to ride public transit locally. On one side, the idea that free rides on light rail and buses would help boost ridership numbers for Hampton Roads Transit. And then on the other, the argument that free fare could actually make things even worse. Here's Philip Townsend with more. On March 8th, HRT communications specialist Angela Gregory posted an article on the organization's website. Solving the ridership gap. Would free fare be the solution? In it, she outlines why offering people free rides on services like light rail and bus routes may be a bad idea. For background, ridership numbers on light rail haven't rebounded from pre-pandemic levels. The Tide, once seeing well over 4,000 weekly riders in 2019, now sees about half of that. Now, a day after Gregory's blog post was published, Phil Chiquette, the former CEO of Hampton Roads Transit, penned his own opinion on the idea of free rides. In the Virginian pilot opinion piece, Chouquette argued in favor of them, pointing to success Richmond saw after offering free bus rides in the city, saying nearly 30 percent of Richmond's riders started using that system after it was free, and 54 percent are riding more often as a result of free fares. But Gregory says when agencies move to a fare-free system, they're encountering what's known as loop riders, people who have no designated destination and ride all day on a loop. This creates, among other problems, overcrowding on buses. Gregory also referenced HRT surveys that show people don't necessarily want free rides, rather more frequent and more reliable service. Adding that HRT's current CEO believes free fares would delay transit improvement projects if the idea was added and approved to the 2025 budget. For 13 News Now, I'm Philip Townsend. And... And the HRT is set to update Chesapeake City Council about the latest on a study exploring high capacity transit in the city. High capacity transit generally make fewer stops, travel at higher speeds, have more frequent service and carry more people than local transit service. The HRT is conducting a feasibility study to determine the need for new HRT connections to the Greenbrier area.